Hey, this video right here is gonna be a real estate market update for the greater Houston, Texas area. We are in December of 2023, and I wanna bring you the most up-to-date, effective real estate market update that you're gonna find available on the internet. So this way you can take all the information, put it together so you guys, you and your family can make the best decision about what you wanna do as it relates to real estate. So let's jump into it right now. everybody my name is jake i'm with exp realty and i'm your favorite houston area realtor and if i'm not i probably should be hey we're breaking down the real estate market report for the greater houston area this is december 23 give you my thoughts on where we've been where we're going as we head into 2024 i want to make this the most in-depth and comprehensive real estate market report so you can get the best information in your hands because at the end of the day you guys have a resource and an advocate right here on the ground so if you're out of the area you're thinking about moving to houston reach out to me let me know how i can be of assistance because i've got some great information but i want to roll my sleeves up and go to bat for you guys give you the information so that you and your family can make the absolute best decision possible. A lot of ways to reach me, you can call or text or send me an email, livinginspringtexas at gmail.com. Phone number, uh, Calendly link to schedule a call. Everything's available in the video description down below. So just click schedule, let's get rocking and rolling. And if this is your first time visiting this channel, I would love you if you took a moment to subscribe to my channel hit the little bell, make sure you're notified every time we put out a video. We are constantly updating this channel with great content about the lifestyle, about what it's like to live around the greater Houston, Texas area. And I wanna hear from you if there's certain subject matter I need to cover for you. You're not finding that information available online anywhere else. Hit me up, send me a note, I got your back. I'll get do everything I can to get you the information. That way you guys can go on and make the best decision possible for you and your family. Here I'm gonna share my screen with you so you guys can see a extremely comprehensive real estate market report. This is gonna break down the greater Houston area. We always talk about real estate being hyper local. So it doesn't do you any good at all if I just give you the 5,000 foot overview of what's going on in the Houston area. Look, we got seven and a half million people in Harris County. There's a lot of real estate, a lot of rooftops. Things change from one area of the city to the other. So if you're looking in downtown Houston versus Katy versus the Woodlands versus Lake Conroe, Galveston, anywhere, it's gonna change a little bit. We're gonna break it down here and uh, jump right into it. All right, guys, let's go. So sharing my screen with you here, uh, this is it. This is the data, man. I break this down every single month, bringing this into you. And we're going to start with the bottom row. This is Harris County. So let's look at the beast that is Harris County that way. So Harris County, what's going on right now? All right. So bottom line here, we have active listings, new listings, total home sales, month supply. Um, this is going to help define, are we in a buyer's or seller's market? We've got average days on market. And then the current average sold price, we're going to compare this over the trailing 12 months to give you what does our appreciation rates look like in all of these different areas. So let's, let's jump right in here, guys. So uh, what we're seeing, a common theme that we've seen throughout this past year is that inventory active listings is still on the rise. OK, so when you look at this number here, we're up 426 actual listings. OK, let me break this down by the month. So here we are. Here's that number 11,227 active listings in Harris County. Okay. So from last year, this is our, our Delta, our change. All right. We're up. What was that? 426 homes from this time last year. New listings are up. Homes sold. This is where it starts to get interesting because what we've seen as I go into our home sold tab for Harris County, what we've seen is that this slide we've seen that total home sales are starting to dip a little bit which look if you compare this over the couple last couple of years this isn't uncommon for this time of year as we get into the end of the year we do start to see home sales falling a little bit but look at this number 2929 29, compared to covid in our big year we had in 21 man we're down there's no doubt about it that we're down but here is the silver lining that i can see anyways if i jump back to my market report what are home values doing? We're still up 1.13% from this time last year, guys. So we are still seeing appreciation in Houston, Texas. This 3.8 months of inventory right now still means we're in a seller's market. I've talked to a lot of home buyers that I've met online through open houses. Everybody's talking about the crash, the market crash. When's the crash? It's not 
if it's gonna happen, it's when it's gonna happen. Look, and I'm gonna tell you this, I don't believe our market correction that we will see is going to be a real estate market crash like we saw in 2008. I just don't believe it, not in Houston anyways. I've seen other parts of the country that are down 10%, you know, 20% in terms of home values. That's not the case in the Houston area. The big driver for that is jobs. We have an incredible jobs market around the Houston, Texas area. We always have great demand with people moving to the area and the jobs markets, what's bringing it here. So even though home sales are down a little bit, even though inventory is up a little bit right now, the golden lining is our appreciation rates are still up. So home buyers, you can get a good deal out there, but you're not gonna go in and offer 50 grand less than list price and think that your offer is gonna get accepted. It's just not the reality. That being said, home sellers have gotta be smart. With more competition on the market, you have to be more strategic about how you price your home, about how you prepare your home for the market, and what is gonna set you apart from all the other homes on the market. So those are the conversations we're having right now with both buyers and sellers in the market. So let's break this down and look at these individual areas. Guys, I live on the north side of Houston, so I'm kind of up near the woodlands. Um, north Harris County, Montgomery County line, that's kind of where I'm at. So these are the markets that I track and you can see really easily that there are some different different numbers here when we look at total appreciation. If we break down these different sub-markets as opposed to looking at the greater Houston area in general, we're going to see some different variations in the numbers here. And similarly, the big key to track is what is our appreciation rates because we do have some pockets of the market that have seen um, negative appreciation. We've seen some home values dip down a little bit, but we're looking at you know, maybe two and a half percent, two percent, two point nine percent. The big one here over in Magnolia, um, and the big driver there uh, really is that the uh, the total listing count is outpacing what we are seeing in terms of home sales. So we've got way more homes hitting the market than we do exiting the market through uh, purchase contracts. So that is what is affecting the appreciation rates there, specifically in Magnolia. But couple things I want to point out. The Woodlands in particular, we're probably seeing some of the better appreciation rates in the Woodlands. I think the Woodlands has always carried a pretty high level of demand. They've got great schools. They've always had very good consistent home appreciation in the Woodlands as well. Um, so you can kind of track these numbers. If you're a home buyer out there, you're considering the Woodlands as a master plan community, as a place to live, you'll see it does carry a little bit higher price point. Uh, but at the end of the day, their inventory right now is actually down a little bit. So, which is great news. We're hoping that that trickle down effect goes throughout the market around the Houston area. We'd love to start seeing those uh, days on market and that month supply of inventory start to go down a little bit because that is uh, what we're kind of normally seeing over the last couple of years. Here's the big key that I want to break down. So we are going to look specifically at what home values are doing around the greater Houston area. So check this out. We're going to compare COVID year to 21 to 22 to this year, what we're currently seeing right now because as i mentioned earlier we're still seeing some positive appreciation rates around the houston area which is a great thing um, and i believe that's going to continue i believe that we're going to continue to see that as we mentioned about the jobs market here being strong in the houston area our big key factor that we're going to watch going into 24 is what's going on with the mortgage interest rates we're seeing right now that they're hovering around seven percent they're down a little bit from about the last couple of months where they hovered close to eight maybe over eight in some scenarios that's gonna be the big ticker because there's literally millions of home buyers on the sidelines right now watching the mortgage interest rates. So what we saw in 21, in you know, 2020 and 21, when interest rates were at 2.75, 3%, homes were selling super fast, less than a week on the market, crazy over asking price offers. So we're not seeing that right now in this market and interest rates have been a big driver for that. But watch what we've seen here in 20, in 21, we really started to see the home prices go up. We hit an all-time high of 409 back in 21, and then check this out, in 22, it just exploded. We saw home values go from around the $400,000 range all the way up to 450, 441, and now they've kind of normalized a little bit down to about 424. We're still way ahead of 20, way ahead of 21, so a good indicator that Houston is still a good, safe place to invest your money as a home buyer. Um, you're still going to realize that long-term appreciation in the Houston market. And hold on and buckle up your seatbelts here because the articles that I'm reading, the lenders that I'm talking to, they're actually forecasting interest rates to come back down into the mid fives by probably spring or summer of 24. And when that happens, we're going to see another huge boom in the real estate market around the Houston area. 
So strap in and buckle up because if you're in the market and you're kind of thinking about what to do as we get into 24, it may not be a bad idea to get in ahead of that massive boom that we're gonna see because we will see appreciation go back to maybe 10 to 15% appreciation, kind of like we saw a couple of years ago. So don't go snoozing on us just because of the interest rates. Don't try and time the market. Really what I always tell my people is the right time to buy is when you're ready. Don't try and time the market on a high side or low side. Analyze the data, look at the trends of what's coming down the pipeline, make the best decision for you and your family. And if you now's the time and you're ready, let's make a move. If not, if you're still one or two years out, that's totally fine. Keep an eye on this data because I think mortgage interest rates are gonna be a big key to watch. Home appreciation rates are also gonna be a big key to watch. And then what's happening with our inventory levels? Because the higher the inventory levels go, that means there's a little bit more room for the home buyers to come in here and be a bit more selective and have a little bit more negotiation power. So the last thing I wanna show you guys, because around the Houston area, what we're really seeing is a lot of new home construction. We're seeing new master plan communities popping up all around the greater Houston area. And these are killer opportunities for buyers right now because the home builders are absolutely offering some great incentives. There's been a couple other videos that I've put out here that are talking about these incentive packages that they're rolling out. So we're talking about not just discounts on home price, contract price, we're talking about in incentives in the design center. So if you wanna build your home from the ground up, you can get 20, 30, $40,000 off your upgrade incentives in the design center. But the newest key that we're going to the negotiation table with these home builders is, is about your mortgage interest rate. So if you're being quoted at about a 7% interest rate right now, we can actually negotiate that into the deal and get you maybe one point, two points, or even three points off of that mortgage interest rate for your first year um, with these home builders because there's just a lot of leverage. They've got a lot of inventory out there, a lot of home build, uh, new home builds going on around the greater Houston area. And we track that here, you can see new home construction right here on the far right side. Those appreciation rates are actually on the slide a little bit here. We're seeing them at down one and a half percent for Harris County, down almost two and a half percent for Montgomery County. So there really are some really good, good deals out there for new construction. So keep that in mind as well. If you can't quite figure out where you wanna be in the Houston area, let's talk about new homes. Let's explore those options and see what's available out there. So appreciate your time and checking out what's going on with the uh, Houston real estate market right now. There's a lot of fluctuations. We've got home appreciation rates up in some parts of the city. They're down in other parts. We've got inventory on the rise for the most part, but again, some pockets that we're seeing that drop down a little bit. So if you guys are thinking about moving to the greater Houston area, I don't care if it's next week, next month, or next year, let's connect, let's start a conversation because I wanna make sure you're getting fed the right information so that you and your family can make the best decision as you guys decide, is this the best place to be? So know you've got an advocate and a resource right here with my boots on the ground in the Houston area. Appreciate your time in checking out this video. Make sure you scroll through, take a look at some of the other videos as we've highlighted some of these master plan communities around the Houston area and reach out to me, 281-660-4797. Let me know what I can do for you. I'm here to go to bat for you with anything you guys need as it relates to real estate. So appreciate your time. Catch you later.